Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truck and drv.com there is a direct link to this particular rv in the video description below if you follow that link it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit once this unit is sold that link will be removed we are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages if you have any questions please give us a call at 440 ohio rvs again that's 440 ohio rvs for sale today we have a 2016 born free royal majestic with 49,688 miles all righty folks here we are inside of this 2016 born free royal majestic as usual i'm going to start in the front work my way towards the rear i'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit here at coon truck and rv we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business all of these rvs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web we're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale answer any questions you may have and make sure you're fully comfortable with your new rv We've got the born free quality you know and love throughout. Got uh, real wood cabinetry, got the molded fiberglass exterior. We've got hard surface flooring inside here. It's gonna make it easier to keep clean. Lots of storage. Got our manuals there. Got some AC plugins and connections for the TV. Also got DC power. This is for a satellite that's on the roof. Those are quickly becoming more obsolete with Starlink and things like that coming out. Got our manuals in the bag there. Got a couple little scratches here on the cabinet door. Got a railing to help you get up and into the coach. Got our fire extinguisher. This is a screen door. It'd be nice to allow some cool outside air in here. Got a big control panel here. Got lots of different goodies with our tank monitors. Everything right here. Don't always trust these. These are notoriously finicky. Got our fuse panel here. This has our AC breakers. This remote operates this fantastic fan here in the ceiling. It's got a rain sensor. Got light switches like this in different parts of the coach. We got a light master, so you can turn this on or off to turn everything on or off, or you've got different sections you can control. Got AC power. This is for the step that comes in and out every time you open and close this door. You can make that open and close, or you can leave that out if you'd like by using this switch. This is for the power awning that goes in and out here with just the push of a button. It's for porch lights. We got electronic leveling jacks on this one, so you can use these as a leveling system to get you level to operate the coach. This is for our Outback inverter and the lithium battery system. This is a noxious gas detector. This is the coach battery disconnect that will disconnect the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. We'll also disconnect the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the alternator while you drive, or the solar panels on this unit. This is a furnace exhaust. We've got ducted furnace. I'm going to check out the kitchen area now. Got solid surface countertops. Dual basin sink. Got a window that you can open with a screen. Got these pull down blinds here for privacy. Tile backsplash, helps keep things clean if you're cooking in here. Got a two burner propane cooktop. This is a convection microwave oven. So it's actually gonna heat up. A little storage rail up top here as well. Got AC power up top that the microwave is plugged into. Lots of storage space, all kinds of drawers here. Got a really big drawer here. It's a furnace duct here. This is the furnace return, so that's where it's going to bring the air in to be able to cycle that back for your furnace. I'm going to flip around now to the driver's side. Tons of storage space in here. This is the dinette. This pulls up and out here. Both of the seats swivel. We've got belts on both of these and two up front. So a total of four belts in this born free. Spot here for storage. Got screen portions 
on both sides of the window. We've got day night shades throughout the coach. We've got two air conditioners on the ceiling. So there's one in the back and one up here in the front. They're all ducted through the ceiling. This is going to operate the air conditioner in the front part of the coach and work much like your one at home. Got another light center here. We can turn things on and off. This is a battery level tester. This is for the solar panels on the roof. We've got four 100 watt solar panels. So a total of 400 watts here in this born free. Also got two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. So a total of 200 amp hours of lithium. Got a Vitra Frigo DC compressor driven fridge. Also a freezer up top. These are more efficient and cool faster than the older absorption style fridges. Very nice looking unit. Got a really big drawer here. Closet. Moving now into our bathroom area. Got another thermostat there for the air conditioner in the rear. Got good headroom in the shower. Not much of a step up and in. Here in the bathroom. Got a medicine cabinet with a mirror. This window here has a privacy curtain. You can open it there with the little knob. An actual porcelain stool. Flushers there on the right. Got AC power, toilet paper holder. You can also do the lights from in here. There's a magnet on the door here, so you can open this up to block off the front. It's gonna give you two different zones in the camper. If you wanna have people hanging out up in the front part, while you're changing or sleeping back here, you can certainly do that. Got a walk around bed. This is easier to make, easier to get in and out of. Got screen portions on the lowers on the windows here. Day night shades, screen portion back here with day night shades. Also two screen windows over here with day night shades. Walk around here. It's the water heater and that. Got AC power here. There's also a DC plug-in down here by the floor. It's hard to see, but you can get DC power there too if you'd like. The bed in the back has these assists to help you raise it up. We've got our fresh water tank here. This is some storage. Got AC power here. Two storage drawers, got DC and AC power here. Here we are standing in the back of the Born Free. I told a joke on a Zoom meeting and no one laughed. It turns out I'm not even remotely funny. Got another fantastic fan here in the back. These work well as a DC powered option to cool you down at night. If you open up these windows, it's gonna bring the cool outside air in. We've got a water heater control there. That's the remote for the fantastic fan here in the back. Walk around beds are nice, easier to make, easier to get in and out of. Got 84 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach, so lots of headroom in here. About 80 and a half inches here at the roll bar casement. Born Free is known for building all of their units with steel roll bars. So we've got one in the very rear, one here in the center of the coach, and also up in the front. Got a curtain you can pull across there to block off the cabin area. Got a few little marks there on the cabinet door. Got a pretty good sized TV here. You can also pull this up to access the storage behind. So lots of room back here to put other goodies. Got a couple shade, sunscreen type things there. 
So all in all, we've got a really nice specimen here. A little bigger than we're used to seeing at Coon Truck and RV. This one's about 32 foot bumper to bumper. Very richly appointed throughout. Lots of extra goodies. So all in all, we've got a very nice coach here. Minimal blemishes inside and out. Got a little tiny bit of discoloration here on the bottom piece of that wood there. I'm going to call this a 9 out of 10. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Here in the cabin, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise. Got serious connectivity. You can connect your phone to this. This is our backup camera monitor. This will stay on when you're driving, so you can use this like a rear view mirror. There's a switch over here that you can push for auxiliary start. That's going to jump start you from the coach batteries if you were to run yourself dead. Got some charging options here on the dash. I'm not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of stains, burns, tears, no funny smells. There's no cigarette lighter, so it's tough to say for sure. I'm going to call this a non-smoker. We've also got this curtain you can pull across here for privacy in the cab. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2016 Born Free Royal Majestic. This RV measures 32 feet bumper to bumper with a 13-foot power awning by Carefree. The tires are Michelin's with 4720 date codes. This Born Free is built on a Ram 5500 HD chassis with a 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine. Got a real nice looking exterior on this unit. Got the born free quality you know and love. Molded fiberglass panels. Got the roll bars inside. Got our power step that comes in and out when you open the door. There's a switch to turn that off. Storage compartment here. Got our furnace exhaust. Got some AC plugins in case you want to plug things in here beneath the awning. Got a handle to help you get up and in. Easy to access, we've got a screen door here. Power awning, comes out with the push of a button. Very easy to deploy. Also easy to put away when you need to do that. Got our propane tank here, this is mounted to the unit so it's gonna travel wherever that goes. You'll have to take the RV somewhere to have this filled. Storage compartment. Closer look at the stripes. Come around to the back. Got a ladder for rooftop access. We've got a tow package. Got our water heater here. So we're gonna fill the onboard fresh water tank that's located beneath the bed in the rear. You're gonna to have to use the water pump to pump the water out of this tank. This is our city water. It's gonna have a hose coming directly into that that's gonna provide the pressure so you won't have to use the water pump. This is beneath the bed in the back. We've got a water filtration system. This is our water pump. Here's our water tank. Got our water heater over here. Some different connections for the water systems. Got a sewer hose storage here. Got our drain, got our black and our gray. Gonna do your black first, then your gray. So the black is the toilet. This is the sink and shower, or sinks and shower. Uh, this is a black tank flush. So you can flush all this stuff out. Got our fill for our diesel fuel. Got real alloy rims on this one. Got dual rear wheels. We've got a 50 amp service. There's two air conditioners on the roof. Got our outside shower here. It's nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, going on a hike, keep the mess outside of the camper. Got our TV in there. This is the back of the Vitra Frigo compressor driven DC refrigerator. Got our two 100 amp lithium batteries here. So 200 amps of lithium power. Got some storage there with some of our solar controllers. That's where you're going to fill the death. You can see up top, we've got Two solar panels on this side, two on the other side. Uh, the satellite dishes and everything's up here. Those are quickly becoming more obsolete with Starlink and all of the other technological advances that happen so fast these days. Really nice looking born free here. Got this decoration here on the hood. Got the quality throughout that you know and love from Born Free. Got a unique specimen here. A little bigger than you're used to seeing here at Coon Truck and RV, but still around that 30 foot mark that a lot of our customers like to stay around or under. 
Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers.